Hello everyone, it's Steam127. The table is very squeaky. I haven't uploaded a video quite a bit long time since uh since Dark Souls 3. Um I was really happy and somewhat surprised that my poise video got so much attention. And it was mostly because I put out the video at a time where not many people covered it. And I almost sort of kind of predicted the future. That was cool. A little after that, I got soft banned from the game. Uh, for doing nothing wrong, obviously. And I kind of just lost interest in the game. I didn't do my Soul Level 1 runs anymore. And so I decided to do other things like... I don't know, play Borderlands casually and like Puzzles and Dragons and Dungeon Fighter Online. But I wanted to make this because I uh, I got unbanned. So this is going to be a video to tell you how to get unbanned. And this is not an easy thing to do. It's not this simple solution that you can do in maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Not even that. It'll take longer than that. It'll take an indefinite period of time, but there are some ways in which there is a way for you to be unbanned. And it uh, kind of sucks, but there is a way. I've been banned for what is it, almost two months now, and to get the ground rolling, um, I'd like to uh, discuss and show you how you get uh, banned in the first place. You get banned in the first place because something goes wrong in your game and the system puts a flag on your account. So that's where you get the warning, the invalid data warning, the infamous invalid data warning that tells you nothing about said invalid data. I don't know anything about the invalid data to be honest. But after you get this warning, a person that's right, a person uh, who works for FromSoft, they're the server team. They will investigate your account and then they will judge for themselves whether or not you are cheating and should be soft banned. It's kind of insulting that you know that a person is doing this, that it's a person who decides that you get banned or unbanned, and you get banned for doing nothing wrong. It's kind of... It's like, you, you kind of wonder what that person on the other side of the computer is like doing or thinking. Are they really... What, what is this? Is it just kind of a stupid, sick joke? Why would you... What? Anyway. Uh, the source for this is a Twitter uh, feed from... Uh, I forget, it was a staff manager. Let me just check it here. Staff manager, it was, yeah, J Card J. Uh, he uh, he clarified with a link to the actual Dark Souls Twitter that uh, basically that is how the system works. You do something weird, then the system kind of says there's something wrong here, and then a person will come and ban you. What the qualifications of whether or not you should or should not be banned are not very clear. And it's very, like I said, it's, it's insulting that a person is, that you got banned when there is this human interaction that comes into your account. If you get, like, and normally this would be logical. A person would come in, they would use their judgment to decide whether or not you should be banned. And then they'll ban you if you do. If you're clearly cheating, they'll leave you alone if you're not. But people who did no wrong are getting banned. So... You have to kind of question the intelligence of this of this staff that are checking your accounts. But there is a way to get unbanned. Uh, as of maybe a week ago, since the May 20 patch, what is it, June now? It's June. As of the May 20 patch, there have been people who have reported that they have been unbanned. I would like to clear the air and say that these people, um, they believe that they're getting unbanned because of some sort of, um, what's it called again? Something action? It's not positive action, it's, uh, well either way, it's not, 
it's not done the, it's not done towards them on purpose. This is a very general thing that is going on uh, throughout the system. It's been implemented in the system since the very beginning. It was just not very clear how this works. Allow me to show you this email here from uh, from the Bondi Namco Entertainment America support team. It says, Dear customer, thank you for contacting Bandai Namco Entertainment America support team. Unfortunately, we do not have any further information regarding the restriction placed in your account. This service does not have any ability whatsoever to modify a player's account status. The only ability of this service is to inform a player as to the status of the restrictions, which means they're useless, by the way. But there was a very important tidbit of information that they gave me. It says here, the Dark Souls 3 service team does periodically review profile slash accounts that were previously restricted to see if players have removed the data, the data that you don't know anything about, and are playing legitimately. If the player removed their data and it did not appear during their one of their periodic checks, they will most likely remove or lift the restrictions. Please do note that the restrictions will be placed on the account profile if violations of the end user license agreement occur a second time and at that point, restrictions will no longer be lifted. So basically, it means you get a second chance. A second chance... I mean, honestly, it's more like a second chance for them to, you know, do something, you know, to fix what their mistake is. And, uh, up until now, um, you, here's another, here's another email. Up until now, I've had a very frustrating experience with the uh, customer service, seeing how powerless they are and how many sweet nothings they've been telling me. And it's very, kind of, uh, again, very impersonal in how they address you. Like, here's one that I got um, about, a, about a week ago. It says here, While these restrictions and limitations on your profile account may seem unfair at this time, the Dark Souls 3 server team are placing them on accounts or profiles in order to remove such players from ruining the online experience for players who choose to honor the end user license agreement and follow the rules set within. Regardless of how a player wants to reason or justify the use of cheats, hacks, mods, or other external files is alright, and that they shouldn't be punished, the fact is that they have violated the EULA and the developer has every right to limit, block, or prevent those users from ruining the experience of other players. We do apologize, but we can, unfortunately we can't comment on the decisions made by the developer for how they would like to enforce the rules for the online multiplayer experience in Dark Souls 3 or the other Dark Souls games. What does this exactly mean? Well, from everything I've told you up until now, um, you I want you should you should uh, you shouldn't praise you shouldn't praise the server team or FromSoft for doing any um, positive action. It's they they didn't change anything. They're not doing anything for you. They didn't change their system. The they haven't changed their security. This is just something that they just do all the time. Those people that monitor your game, that investigate your account when they're flagged, will go back every now and then to check on your account and see if you don't have this data. And then if you don't, by the time they come back to you, they'll unbend. So there's a point to be made here, and the point is, I guess I could put a time skip here, the point is, when you get banned, God, delete stuff. Delete almost everything. Put your data folder in someplace else, and you know, put it in a backup folder, and just leave your game blank. Because as your game is right now, something inside of it made them. Something inside of it made those people, those human people, decide that you should be banned. Something in there has convinced them that you've done something wrong. And yeah, it's stupid. I don't know, like like the email says, they don't know. And I don't know, I can't contact the server team. There's something, there's something odd about how they won't let me contact the server team, by the way. It's like, what? I, you're gonna just like, you know, keep me restricted to talking to this person who doesn't know anything and can't help me? Yeah, that's great. But they at least, they did inform me about this. So that's cool. Basically, delete your data. Go play your game on another account for like a month, because that's how long it, well, two months really, that's how long it took me. Um, and play it somewhere else, and then eventually they'll come back to your account and say, hmm, there's nothing here. Well, I guess we'll unban them now. Um, 
Who knows how long it who knows how long it'll take for them to get to your account. I assume that maybe it took so long for them to get to everybody uh, because so many people were falsely banned. Um, yeah, probably a reason why. Maybe their action will be more quick in the future. Maybe their maybe their routine checks will be more more done more quickly, and you'll get unbanned more quickly. I don't know. It, people are getting unbanned, so if you haven't done anything wrong, you know, you should get unbanned sometime this month. I don't know, I think I've wasted like 10 minutes of everybody's time. Basically, just get rid of your data. Something in there is making them think you're a cheater, and there's no way you can verbally communicate to these guys that you're not, so just delete your stuff. Just delete your... delete your save data. Just get rid of it. The faster you do that, the faster they'll have no reason to doubt you, and then they'll just lift the flag on your account. I will warn you though that if you put your backup data back in and you are a cheater or there's something there in your account that you're suspicious of, you need to make sure that there's nothing in there. And if you see the warning again, you get the heck out because if you get banned again, it's permanent. So you be careful. Um, yeah. So like I, I, I myself put my data back in my account, but I'm very worried about that, like about what's going to happen if they flag me again, because if they flag me again, I'm banned forever, like, you know, for real, forever. And ever and ever and ever. Um, so yeah, there's that. Because there was something in there that made them turn their heads. And now that I put it back in, who knows? Maybe they'll check it again and be like, there's that thing again that um, they don't know that's there. Let's ban them again and for good, even though they don't know why. Um, the point is, there's a way to get unbanned. And, but there's a, the point is that there's a way to get unbanned, but you should still be very careful. Uh, nothing is safe, sacred, um, getting banned twice means you're permanently banned. They're still not very verbal, they're not communicating very well about what, you know, consequences as a ban, why these people were falsely banned in the first place, because there's still a problem there. There's no change going on with the, se the security system. You can still get banned again, it's very easy, to be honest, it's very easy to get banned again. There's, you people, it's so easy, you, you know from the last video how easy it is to get banned again. Uh, so what I'm saying is be very careful, back up your saves, um, very often, maybe set up the cloud save again, because that'll really help. And since you've been banned again, you can get banned permanently, be careful, blah blah blah. Definitely set up your cloud save, or just like back up your save. Just back up your save, put it somewhere, put it in like multiple places, put it in like two different folders, you know? One from today. And then one that you upgrade, up, upgrade. One that you update like once every week, maybe once every day if you play the game a lot. Who knows? All I'm saying is, you'll get unbanned if you're patient and you delete all your data. Don't leave your game the way it is right now. Delete stuff. Delete a lot of stuff. Get rid of it all. That way, that when they check on you again, they'll unban you. And then when you put your data back, make sure you have a backup so that if you get flagged again, you can get the heck out. Stay safe. Wait for the flag to go away again, and then put your data back, and then somehow fiddle with it and try and fix it. That's all I have to say. I am very glad that I've been unbanned, yet also very frustrated because there was no, um, there was, this is, it wasn't the result of like, this, this wasn't the result of like, a fr there it is, affirmative action. Affirmative action. There wasn't, this wasn't the result of affirmative action. They're not, they're not... They're not, they're not favoring you for being disadvantaged. They're treating you the same as everybody else and they're being very stubborn about it. They didn't save you. They didn't look at your account and they, they didn't like do it on purpose. What I'm saying is they're not trying to take care of you. They don't care about you, to be honest. They have your money. They're just doing something that is set up a long time ago and something that we didn't know about. We didn't know that they reviewed things constantly. We didn't know that um, you can just get unbanned through this cyclical situational cycle of these team members who just go, you know, through your list and they see if you've done anything wrong and then they just uncheck you. For all we know, they could be really lazy, they could just go through a checklist, they could be very impartial, they could just, they could actually not use any common sense, they could just use, they could use no sense and they could just go by a list, who knows, they could be the most incompetent people in the world. Probably are. All I'm saying is that nothing has changed. Um, this system has been here since the beginning, you can get unbanned, you can just as easily get banned again, and it can be permanent. I am 
upset that there is no affirmative action. I'm glad that there is a system in place that can protect you a tiny bit. And now that you know about all this stuff, you can be more careful in the future and never let it happen again. Never let Malcolm Reynolds hurt you ever again. Back your saves, all that stuff, and all that jazz. Just like I said last time, look forward to uh, making more videos. I have one last video to make for Dark Souls 3. I think I'm going to stop doing the Soul Level 1 videos because everyone's- a lot of people are doing that nowadays because Dark Souls 3 is a lot easier than the other games. So I'm going to stop doing that, but there's going to be one more video. It's going to be the truth about poise. I hope, I hope that's going to be- I think that's going to be really fun. So I'll see you next time. I feel, uh, feel alright. And I think I'm in the mood to make some more videos again. And I think after this, I think we're going to be done doing some popular games. For those of you who have been with me for a while, you know I like playing unusual games. We're going to go back to those. I have no idea how I'm going to go back to Bulk Tide 2, so maybe we'll, maybe we'll do something else for a bit. I'll see you later.